All right, this is the first one I've done in a while. I was just wanting to upload a video about my wife's new case. It is right here. Same hardware. Got that out in. Set that fan. That fan's there. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. And I have a fan controller coming and green fans and a UV green fan. So I don't have to hear that anymore. Be nice and quiet. Um And okay, all right. Let's change this whole tone. So that's my wife's new case. I'm gonna get her a new power supply later. When that lights up, and that's just a lot better. Module. I'm gonna get her module. I'm gonna get her one that lights up. I'm gonna get her one that's a lot stronger. I'm gonna get her a 560 Ti. I don't know if I could afford a 660 Ti. It's so probably going to be a 560 Ti after her and that. And then I'm going to look for a Phenom 2 for her. Probably is going to be stuck with an X4, but I'm going to try to get her an X6. Find maybe eBay or one that has the higher clock rate. Six core ones. I found one on there not too long ago for hundred bucks. Supposedly brand new, still in box, never been used. Don't know how much you can trust that. Um, but yeah, so it's gonna be done with this stupid dual core crowd and that stupid 8400 GS. Do not buy an 8400 GS. It is a rip off. You're gonna get. About as much as you do on uh, on your stock clock, on your stock, or well, your integrated graphics. Sorry about that. Your integrated graphics, and the only thing it helps is like what is like Second Life. Second Life seems to be the only thing you're inspired. I guess it does work better. It's just it's not really enough to matter. Like I guess like. It is possible to play WoW on higher than low without, but and you have moments where it'll play good and then it will lag, and it's just, it's not fucking worth it. Not at all worth it. Wasn't worth it. Uh, I bought it from Tiger, it was like 60 bucks, so I didn't think it, I thought it had to be better than. Uh, what she had on board, which is I think uh, 7150 or some shit like that. I don't remember. Anyways, I thought it would be better, but it's not. Not. I thought it would be enough of a difference, and having the 256 megabytes of VRAM, having the gig of VRAM, would, it, it would have to improve it. Having that much extra VRAM, it had to be a decent amount better to make it worth it. I should have just broke down through the extra forty dollars in it and got a better graphics card than that, or an extra hundred dollars and got her a five sixty Ti. But I didn't. At the time, now five sixty Ti's are like a hundred bucks. So, um, and I should have got her a better power supply. I can get her a way better power supply than that. I can get her. 50, 60 bucks. I can get her 700 power, well, 7, 800 watt power supply. One has fan, big fan in the bottom. You know, LED modular. 
LED fan, modular power supply, 80 bronze, 80 bronze certified. Um, but I didn't. Trying to save money when I got taxes and don't mind. And I bought a big screen TV, woohoo, Blu ray player with a theater system, home theater system. You know, I went all out on it. Plus, I paid all my bills up for about two, three months. So, excuse the way I look. I was supposed to go to work this morning. Weather sucks. So, didn't work. Can't do siding in the rain really well. You can, but it sucks. So then, uh, so I don't look the most appealing right now. But I don't know. Whatever. So soon my case will be more complete in about Monday or Tuesday. I'll post a video showing my fan controller and my new fans and because as we can see that loud fan just it's miserable it's annoying it's not, nothing nice about it <sighs> nothing nice about it at all it's annoying you can't hear yourself think it's annoying when you're trying to read. Now, if you're gaming, it, it doesn't bother me because I don't pay any attention. I really don't hear it. Or when I'm listening to music or whatever. But as soon as I'm reading, like, an article online or uh, doing my studying on new computer parts or just reading regular articles from my Facebook messages or any of that it's a drag you can't hear yourself think so it's it's just really annoying I never thought it was such a big deal I keep hearing oh loud fans loud fans no 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 loud fans suck uh, oh, they can't be that loud so it it can't be that loud to make that big of a difference to drive you to bother you. But when I bought this case, I, you know, it's an armor, Thermotech armor, really good deal. I paid fifty bucks for it off Craigslist. Guy delivered it to me and everything. So I got a killer deal, and he had a couple fans with it, and they were better than a couple of the fans I had. They were better than a couple of fans I had, so, you know, I, I looked up their model number and read on them, and turns out, while this fan, you know, originally came with a fan controller, so that's a little plug in it where you plug the fan controller into it, you know, the little extra wire on it where you plug in your fan controller, the one that originally came with this, uh, not Sunbeam, maybe Sunbeam, I think it's like, I can't remember what, what the name of the van is right now, but it's white, it's pretty old, and I think, I mean, it blows really good, but it's majorly loud. It's like 2600 or 2800 RPMs, like, but, I don't know, it must be before the different bearings started, or just because it's an old van. And, you know, he probably used the lie. It was pretty dirty when I cleaned it up. Well, it wasn't completely dirty, but it was enough to be like me. Um, so I cleaned it up, and... So, as you can hear, you can probably hear it from there. I'm sure you can. It's, uh, pretty loud and obnoxious. So now I see the difference that you do want quiet fans, so eventually that's all going to be switched. I'm going to get all good, you know, Cooler Master fans that can have 2400 RPMs and not half the noise decibel levels that this fan has. I think it's like, this one was like 60 or 80. It was nuts when I had looked it up. But, um, hmm. Let me see. Uh, I 
can't remember to look it up right now. I was gonna look it up, but uh, I have a habit of looking at the screen and not the camera. I'm sorry about that. So I just moved the camera over a little more. So maybe it'll be a little more, you know, just a little better presentation of looking straight ahead instead of like, I don't know. Uh, anyways, it was majorly loud, but it keeps my temps a decent amount fuller. So, I don't know. Then another crappy fan panel. That I'd rather deal with this and it run cooler than, you know, then, uh, it'd be quiet and not as cool, I guess, but actually, I kind of might have switched it. I kind of probably would have just switched it back if it wasn't for it. I, I just haven't felt like it. Uh, but once I get my fan controller, I should it should be able to be bearable. If I, it, just slowing it down a little should make it where it's not so bad. I'm hoping, anyways. But. So, I don't know why uh, the multicolor 80 millimeter came with it. It came with another one. I don't know what color it was. If it was because the description said uh, it was supposed to come with a blue 820 millimeter on the rear, and the multicolor one part of the description said, and another part said a blue 80 millimeter. So I don't know. Anyways, it was another 80 millimeter on the back, which was probably blue and not multicolor. So I took it off. I put her 120 millimeter multicolor on it, and uh, I flipped that around. Why they had it blowing out right there? I really don't get. To me, without to me, it was it's better to have that one blowing in. So you have a way of getting fresh air into the case. You could put two 80 millimeters on the front, but you have to unscrew this bezel to get it off. And I was having problems with my tools, and you know I'm still getting tools, uh, so I wasn't able to reach two more of the screws to get the top completely off. So I could pull the whole bezel off to get those fans in there because I was going to put I have two more 80 millimeter fans I was going to put there so it would have at least something to push the air that way maybe it brought, would have brought a little more air into the case I'm sure it would have been a lot better but whatever it works for now it runs cool her temps right now with me recording this, let's see. She's using about 40% 40 40 of her CPU is being used right now. 30, about 30, 40%. So, it's not bad. You know. And her temps are, you know, she's just got a regular stop cooler. Her, 32 degrees is her uh, CPU right now. It's 32, 33. Her main board is 30. Video card is 38. Hard drive 29. So I don't see that as being bad. I see that as being. It's a little higher without the fan blowing in front. It seems to be, anyways, to me. Like it's a little higher, like a, a degree or two higher. So, but this case is nicer and. Once I put the 80 millimeters there, I think it will cool down about four, I'd say four to five degrees Celsius. It'll be maybe, maybe, maybe it'll get that much cooler. But who knows? <sighs> Excuse me, I don't know. I'm not. Tired. 
Uh, that's really all the update I have. Uh, I posted a video of me playing through the whole game of Ninja Gaiden for the NES. Yes, I used an emulator. <coughs> <coughs> I don't have an NES anymore. I haven't in years. I don't have one. <laughs> and I don't have the capture card right now. Who have had an actual NES hooked up and all of that. I don't have an NES to to do it, so yeah. And there was some like once I got to the boss and I died, it wasn't gonna record me going through those six, one, two, and th three all over again, so I just cut it right back to the boss. <coughs> Until I beat it. So, um, pretty much I guess that's it. Peace. Have a good day. Fill it with technology.